how's it going y'all got some more stuff done on the arc 7 so i'm gonna get y'all caught up real quick this thing is looking awesome i cannot wait But all right, we got the doors on, rear view mirrors on, a bunch of little stuff. I'm just gonna flip the camera around and try to go around and point out the stuff and if I, all the stuff if I can remember it and just show you what I've done. I'm like super, super, super excited. This thing is pretty much, if I had a seat, steering wheel, and coilovers, I could drive, well, an exhaust. Jeez, it just adds up, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, this thing is almost a functioning driving car. It's awesome. Check it out. Man. This thing is going to be so sick. I can't wait. But I got the whole entire front harness pretty much done. Um, I have the fan relays right here. If you know anything about FDRX 7s, they're right here. This is just the factory FDRX 7 relays. I just kind of moved stuff around because this harness was damaged in the accident. Um, got like all these parts come off a crash car. But I just kind of saved what I could of it, of the harness, and used what I wanted to use. <clears throat> But we got every got the got it zip tied out of the way. Runs under here. Comes down there, zip tied down there. This right here is for my grounds for my fans. I just gotta get like a, a banjo and I'm just gonna you know bolt it right there. But goes along through there. And I gotta get the factory little clamp that kind of holds those down. So it'll look really neat. That's the factory place where they go. But, of course, it runs across through here. And this is like the, the running gear light that goes right here in the corner of the bumper. I didn't want to take this out, but the, the newer front end doesn't use the corner lights. Um, they put them back here on the fender. Um, so I'm definitely not going to cut my fenders, but, you know, maybe down the road I might want to move them there. So I just put the wire up here and zip tied it out of the way so I can just kind of extend it and run those if I want. But I had to notch the, the frame of the car a little bit right here. <laughs> I was just really worried about the tire getting into the harness. So I tried to tuck it up the best I could. Zip tie game is, is strong. <laughs> but it's, it's up out of the way. I seriously don't think it's going to rub. I'm going to run the inner fender right here too. So I'm hoping it'll protect it and keep it out of the way. This runs right there. Once I get my little grommet for that. The rest of the harness is still 100% a nightmare, but you kind of get the idea. I'm gonna pull everything together, make proper connect wire connections, and then just, you know, wrap it and, and be done. So we got the doors on. This thing actually looks almost looks like a car. <laughs> if I can get back. Look at this thing, man. Dude, so sick. Can't wait. But I actually love the FD mirrors. Got the door handles and the rail and everything painted. Just gotta get my weather stripping cleaned up. This thing's coming along so good, guys. I can't wait, man. Let's test uh, test some stuff again for you. Oh, got turn signal on. Pop-ups, high beams, flash. Man, my tail lights, oh my goodness. I could just see this thing with like a carbon fiber diffuser, carbon fiber little duckbill spoiler, carbon fiber little side skirts. The 99 spec front bumper, thing's gonna be sick. So ready. But yeah, it's coming along really good, man. I'm pumped. I fixed my leaky brake line up here. Doesn't leak anymore. That's awesome. Oh, another cool thing I did. I actually made a custom... Um, cut my lights off. <laughs> Killed my battery. I actually made a, a custom uh, hood release cable. Um, if you have an RX-7, it kind of comes out down there and runs through the bottom right here and kind of snakes around. So you can see it, like I said, I'm not trying to shave this or like make this a really clean looking engine bay, but if I can, you know, 
make it look nicer by tucking stuff out of the way. I'm trying to do that. But I basically just took an old FC uh, rear trunk leech release cable, which I have like a lot of FC parts left over, and basically just cut it to length and ran it down in the frame right here. It comes out right there, runs around, and right to the hood, uh, hood release. So that, that's kind of cool. So that's one of the things that's kind of tucked up and you won't see it. But yeah, dude, this thing is sick. Oh, and also finally committed to the battery location and uh, cut the wires to length. Just kind of wrapped them in like, I don't even know what you call it, but just wire loom. Ran it down through there. So that's one thing done. Uh, so sick. But the, the harness behind the dash will probably be loose and like this for a while just because I got to put gauges in the car and I don't know exactly what I want to run and stuff like that. So it's probably going to be loose and, and cut up like that for a good minute. So, But as you guys can see, um, I got a lot done on this car here recently. I've been focusing on it, really, really working on it, trying to get this thing together. Um, unfortunately... It's going to be kind of like a waiting game with finances and stuff like that because i think i need to probably i'm thinking somewhere between like three and five thousand dollars to finish the car that'd be full exhaust coilovers racing seats uh steering wheel and i gotta get a front glass for the car I forgot about that Dang. but still very very close i mean this car has come so far i mean it's just insane to, when you think about it i mean i cannot wait like i said the fan like i said it's going to be the car i think so I've had the I've got the cooling system all knocked out with the fans working and everything. So I've actually had to let this car, you know, actually been able to let the car run for a long period of time. The, fan, the ECU cuts the fans on, they come on, the car is staying nice and cool. Um, the lizard skin and the bed liner and the Raptor bed liner on the inside. Like I said, the car on the inside right now it seems like it's going to be really quiet and really cool. Um, I can put my hand like right next to where the the stock manifolds are. And you can feel some heat, but it's not that bad. So I honestly think this is going to be a very, very driving, you know, a car that you can drive and not have to worry about it, like cutting on a bunch of switches and all this kind of crazy stuff. It's just going to work like it was a factory car, which is what I want. So, dude, I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm so pumped. I cannot wait. But yeah, like I so said, I still got to get the, the fenders put on and the hood and all that stuff. But now that I got the, the wiring and everything straightened up in the front, I can go ahead and put all this stuff on because, you know, I couldn't put the fenders on because I know the harness going to have to run right there. So, you know, basically I made some hard work for myself. I put the fenders on and then try to like tuck the wires up in there and stuff. I know I had to wrap them too. Oh, it would have been a nightmare. But yeah, this thing is all done. I can't wait. It's going to be, it's going to be super sick. I'm going to fire this thing up for y'all one more time. I know you've done heard it run about a million times, but I still, it's like to hear it run. <laughs> so I'm going to fire it up. And then we'll end this with just like some like random beauties, I guess. But here we go. Let's see if this thing will actually fire up, which I'm pretty confident that it will. Fuel pump. This is a camera shy summer gun, man. Let me tell you. Jeez, you can't make this stuff up, dude. <laughs> I literally just moved this thing back. And it was running perfectly fine. Battery cable come loose. Don't you do this to me. Yes! <laughs> what a turd, man. Still love it, though. Yeah, like it's, it's untuned. So I'm sure that's what it is. Oh, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff. Like the O2 sensors are just like dangling down. So I'm sure all that stuff kind of tributes to it a little bit but this thing is awesome. I can't wait, man.